and taking our coverage a step further right now. Omicron has not been confirmed here in the United States. However, just yesterday, President Biden warned it's almost inevitable the variant will reach the U.S. Let's go in depth right now on all of this, talking about what people need to know tonight about Omicron and its spread. Well, we don't know. We're joined by Patty Olinger, the executive director of the Global BioRisk Advisory Council. She has an extensive background in biorisk management and infection control. You sound like the person to talk to right now, Patty. Thanks for joining us. Well, thank you for having me. Well, what's most concerning about this Omicron variant, uh, as you are hearing uh, about it, we know we you know the first reports that it began in Africa false it seems like it's been in other countries already yeah I think that that's one of the things that for all of us has been always frustrating is is being able to track some of these um, variants we're going to be seeing more variants most likely uh, in the future as well and it's it it shouldn't really be surprising but on the other hand, when we hear these uh, variants of interest, it scares people. And it's one of those things of, you know, what do we need to do uh, to be prepared for what's next? Well, it sounds like what we should do right now, since we don't know uh, the dangers of Omicron, we did have that report from Lindsay Thies that uh, people in, four people in Israel had it. Uh, it evaded vaccines, but they had a mild Okay, so what would your be, advice would be people that are already uh, taking precautions just to soldier on with what they have been doing? Well, you know, I mean, there's a lot of lessons that we've learned this last year. You know, the one thing we all know and we've heard tonight um, on Newsy is get vaccinated. It's the number one thing that we can do to protect ourselves. If you're going out in public and going to be in, in crowded areas, wear a mask. Um, it protects you and it protects others as well in the event that you potentially have one of those mild cases that you don't realize um, that you have COVID. Um, social distance when you're in those crowded places when possible. Um, you know, wash your hands a lot. It's these things that we learned this last year, um, you know, that are really important and they may seem like common sense but they're things that we as individuals and also as businesses can control. Um, you know, one of the things that we're learning, you know, that indoor air quality, uh, if you're a business owner, think about what you're doing there, you know, with regard to the indoor air quality for healthy spaces. And we do also know that surfaces do matter. You know, there are more reports coming out that there are still being able to find COVID-19 on high touch points. What that means from an infectivity rate, we don't really know yet, we're still learning, but paying attention to cleaning and disinfection of high touch points is important. And, you know, it also helps protect us from the flu and the common cold. And then get educated. Yeah, I wanna ask you too, the Biden administration is considering uh, stepping up uh, people getting uh, tested to come back into the country, even Americans who traveled. So what would be your advice to uh, people in this country who already have plans to travel uh, overseas during the holidays? Yeah. You know, testing is one of the things that, you know, I would add to my list of, of what we can do is that testing is one of those things that helps us be able to protect, um, again, our, our communities and our families. If, you know, the, the coming back and forth, know what the requirements are. Do you need to have a PCR test or is one of the antigen tests appropriate and okay? Know that ahead of time and have a plan as to how you're going to be able to get those tests if you're coming, um, either going to another country or coming in to the United States. We really appreciate you joining us and the advice you're, you've given us. Thank you so much, Patty Olinger, the Executive Director of Global Biorisk Advisory Council. Thanks, Patty. Thank you.